The movie we chose to talk about is Silver Linings Playbook. To briefly summarize the movie, it revolves around the life of Pat Salatino Jr., who is suffering from bipolar disorder. Prior to the beginning of the movie, it is shown that he was admitted to a psychiatric care facility in Baltimore and is struggling to live in his parents' house and away from his wife after an incident that separated the two. We diagnose Pat with bipolar 1 disorder, just as the movie does. The disorder itself involves distinct periods of mania, followed by a hypomanic episode and then severe depression, not necessarily in that order. To be diagnosed with bipolar disorder, at least three symptoms from those listed must be present in the elevated time period. Evidence of bipolar disorder in the movie was found in many different scenes. The first two symptoms are shown that, that are shown are the decreased need for sleep as well as easy agitation. This is shown in the Hemingway scene, where Pat stays up till four in the morning reading a book by the author and then wakes his parents up because he is extremely agitated by the end of the story and actually wants to confront Hemingway about it. Another symptom shown is an increase in goal-directed activity. This symptom is really shown throughout the movie because Pat essentially always talks about his wife, Nikki, who left him after the incident in the beginning of the movie. The incident was when Pat, Pat walked in on Nikki in the shower with another man and almost beat the man to death. The symptom is further demonstrated in Pat's many visits to his therapist, where he always talks about how he's going to get his wife back. Not all bipolar disorder patients exhibit all the symptoms possible. In Pat's case, he doesn't show any symptoms for having racing thoughts. He is very talkative, which is another symptom, but his thoughts are more or less constant and don't jump from one thing to another. Traditionally, a person suffering from bipolar disorder would be taking mood stabilizing drugs as well as antipsychotics. They would also go through psychotherapy. Pat was prescribed Seropol and Abilify and later stopped taking those because they made him foggy. If Pat continued to take his medication and attempt therapy sessions, he would have a more stable mood in the long run and become less agitated. In the movie, Pat was reluctant to take his medications and ultimately stopped taking them. The cop assigned to his case because of the restraining order against him threatened to put him back in a psychiatric care facility if he continued to attempt to violate the order. Many bipolar patients are placed on involuntary hold at mental facilities and this could be an ethical issue since patient consent is not provided. Most of the symptoms portrayed in the movie are very similar to those portrayed in real life. However, presumably for time's sake, the film showed that Pat's mood changes were very rapid and went from being super elevated to depressed within seconds or minutes, when in reality these mood changes occur over weeks or months. In the movie, Pat gets better at maintaining his disorder, which shows that these kind of illnesses are very treatable and be contained if the patient puts in the effort and along alongside the psychotherapy and medication.